So what's at stake today? Well, unlike last year when the prize for winning the lottery was pretty clearly Shaquille O'Neal going in, this year, while there are many fine players, it's not so clear-cut who's number one. Most NBA observers feel that the first pick will be one of two players. Sean Bradley of Brigham Young, the seven foot six inch junior who didn't play last year or this, serving a Mormon mission in Australia instead. The other possible number one pick is six foot nine inch Chris Weber of Michigan, who left after his sophomore year with the Fab Five after leading the Wolverines to the NCAA title game each of the last two seasons. The rest of the top picks also figure to be underclassmen. Kentucky's Jamal Mashburn took his team to the Final Four this year before they lost to Michigan in the semis. And Anthony Hardaway of Memphis State and Rodney Rogers of Wake Forest are projected to be among the top five selections. Okay, here's a review of the rules and an explanation of how the draft lottery works. Take a look. The 11 teams that didn't qualify for the playoffs all have a shot at the number one pick. That's Dallas, Minnesota, Washington, Sacramento, Philadelphia, Milwaukee, Golden State, Denver, Miami, Detroit, and Orlando. The Nuggets and Heat finished with identical records, and a special draw held at the conclusion of the regular season determined that Denver gets one more ball than Miami. If neither team winds up in the top three, then the Nuggets will have the earlier selection. The NBA uses a weighted system which increases the chances of teams with the worst records getting the top picks. The Mavericks will have 11 chances out of 66 for the number one choice, each chance represented by a ball. Minnesota gets 10 chances, one more than Washington, and so on down to Orlando, which has one chance in 66. The balls are placed in a clear cylinder. They will be mixed and then drawn to the top. The first to emerge from the cylinder will represent the first pick in the draft. The second non-duplicate ball will get the second pick, and the third non-duplicate ball, the third pick. The order of selection for the remaining eight teams will be determined by inverse order of their regular season records. This guarantees that the team with the worst record, Dallas, will get no lower than the fourth overall pick. Now one more note here, should Miami not appear in the top three, their pick will go to Detroit as part of the John Sally trade. So Detroit could be looking at two picks in the top 11. The actual drawing has just been conducted in a separate room under the supervision of NBA Deputy Commissioner Russ Granick. The process was witnessed by representatives of the 11 lottery teams, different representatives from the individuals sitting here. Also there was Mark Manoff, a partner in the international accounting firm of Ernst & Young. Mr. Manoff is the only person in this studio who knows the results, including Commissioner David Stern. Immediately following the drawing, Mr. Manoff took the logo for each lottery team and placed it into a numbered on Envelope corresponding to that team's position in the 1993 draft. Since then, Mr. Manoff has retained exclusive custody of the envelopes, which have just been placed in order on the numbered board. The sealed envelopes will be opened shortly by Commissioner Stern. But first, here are the team representatives. From the Orlando Magic, General Manager Pat Williams. From the Detroit Pistons, Director of Player Personnel, Billy McKinney. Representing the Miami Heat, Executive Vice President Pauline Winnick. From the Denver Nuggets, their GM, Bernie Bickerstaff. From the Golden State Warriors, Head Coach and General Manager Don Nelson. Representing the Milwaukee Bucks, Vice President of Player Personnel Lee Rose. From the Philadelphia 76ers, General Manager Jim Lynham. From the Sacramento Kings, General Manager Jerry Reynolds. Representing the Washington Bullets, team owner Abe Polin. From the Minnesota Timberwolves, owner Harvey Ratner. And finally from the Dallas Mavericks, General Manager Norm Sanju. Commissioner Stern will open the envelopes representing the selection order 11 through 1. Keep in mind that since slots 4 through 11 are determined by inverse order of regular season finish and only the first three positions are determined by the lottery, if Orlando, for example, doesn't come up 11 or Detroit doesn't come up 10 and so on down the line, it means that that team has defied the odds and lucked into one of the top three selections. And now to announce the order of the first 11 picks of this year's NBA draft, here's the commissioner, David Stern. <coughs> Good afternoon and welcome to the NBA Draft Lottery. Everyone has been briefed on the lottery procedures, so let's get started and see who picks where in the 1993 NBA Draft. The 11th pick goes 
to the Detroit Pistons. Orlando, which got Shaquille O'Neal last year and improved to 500, has jumped into the first three. Pat Williams already celebrating. The tenth pick goes to the Miami Heat, who, as Bob has explained, have traded that pick to the Detroit Pistons. So the Pistons have the tenth and eleventh choices. The ninth pick goes to the Nem Denver Nuggets. The eighth pick goes to the Milwaukee Bucks. The seventh pick goes to the Sacramento Kings. Golden State has moved up. The sixth pick goes to the Washington Bullets. Washington, which stood to have one of the first three picks, statistically has not fared well, dropping the back to six. The fifth pick goes to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Minnesota also not faring that well. The fourth pick have goes one of the first couple of picks to the Dallas Mavericks. The Dallas Mavericks could not have done any worse than and that. And now the, the teams that have the first three picks in the 1993 NBA draft, the teams that really are going to love this game. <laughs> the third pick in the 1993 NBA draft goes to the Golden State Warriors. Philly or Orlando? Philly or the Orlando? The second pick in the 1993 NBA draft goes to the Philadelphia 76ers. Unbelievable. And believe it or not, the first pick in the 1993 NBA draft goes to the Orlando Magic. Come on up. This is in the category of go figure. The number one pick last year with Shaquille O'Neal almost made the playoffs. This year, one ball out of 66 in the hopper and they get the number one pick. When we come back, we'll talk with Pat Williams. Assuming he can get his bearings soon enough, that's next. After a message from Prudential and a word from the NBA.